There are a lot of people who are confused about when they will use the stateful widget or when they will use the stateless widget. So I'll clear it to you today and we will also learn how to create them and their main concept. So I'm here today to discuss about stateless and stateful widget. So let's get going. So first we will see how to create the stateful widget and the stateless widget. Alright, I have opened up a new Flutter project in VS Code and in main.dot file we will create them. After material app widget, I am going to create them. We can create them manually but there is a shortcut to create them. When I program, I always use shortcuts because that increase my productivity. So the shortcut is ST. If we write as T, we should see there are two options, the stateful widget and the stateless widget. To create the stateless widget, all we have to do is just click on it and it will be created. Now we have to set its name. I'm going to set it to example. Note that it should start with the uppercase letter. Now to create stateful widget, we need to again write as T and just click on first one and it will be created. Here also we have to set a name. I'm going to set it to another example. To see clearly, I am going to maximize this window. The stateful widget look like this. The stateless widget look like this. So this is quite easy to create them. Now I will talk about when we will use them. Suppose our application only needs some text, some images. That's mean needs only static content and there will be no real time changes the text will be as it is the image will be as it is in that case we will use stateless widget in our application the bottom line is that when we use static content only in our application we will use stateless widget but when our application will have dynamic content that's mean the contents will change real time. We can think of it like when we click on it, we can see that it is increasing one by one. That means it is changing real time. In that case, we will use stateful widget. So, I hope you understand when to use which one. Now, I am going to show you a picture to understand it more clearly. If we have dynamic content, we will use stateful widget. If we have static content, this will never change, then we will use stateless widget. Hopefully after watching the video, now you understand how to create them, when to use which one and their main concept. Thanks for watching this video and if my content helpful, don't forget to subscribe and share my channel.